Hey guys, how are you today? All right, we are here with another um, YouTube challenge. I challenged the people over in my Facebook group. The link for that is in the description below if you'd like to join um, to a $5 challenge. So this is where, how we're going to do this. There's lots of um, like budget challenges out there, not just for art, but for makeup and all kinds of things. But I thought we'd do this one a little bit differently. So it's a $5 challenge. Now you're allowed to use two things from your studio or art room that you have already. One being some kind of mark making tool, a pen, a pencil, something like that. And the other one is one some kind of medium. Um, and no, you can't just say acrylic paint and choose all your acrylic paint. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. So you can pick like gel medium or glue or um, texture paste or something like that um, to complement the budget supplies that you're getting. Now, as far as the budget supplies are concerned, you can only spend $5. So you're allowed one mark making tool, a pen or a pencil or something like that, and you're allowed one medium, gel medium, um, texture paste, um, string gel, uh, glue, you know, whatever. Then go to the store with $5 and you can pick anything that's $5. You could pick cheap art supplies. That's the easy way. Or you could challenge yourself a little more and pick some makeup, maybe some um, coffee or tea, food coloring, anything that's gonna make a mark on the page and stain the page. Yeah? So think outside the box a little bit. And I know in the past on this channel and other classes I've taught, I've made um, like ink out of coffee or tea. Um, you could also do something similar with food coloring. Um, and also there's been a lot of things on the um, on YouTube and on the internet about like making watercolors out of eyeshadows and stuff like that. So think outside the box a little bit. Go to your local dollar store. That's what I did. I went to Dollar Tree and look around and see what they have and what will inspire you to use on your page in conjunction with your pen or your pencil and your medium that you're going to choose um, and to make something um, in your journal or on a piece of paper. If you really like what you've made, I recommend that you scan it because none of these things are probably archival or light fast. So if you really love what you make, scan it or photograph it for posterity because it's probably going to fade pretty quickly. All right, that being said, we're going to work in this journal of mine, which is um, my five minute journal, but that's okay. We're going to work in here, try to get some pages done in it. I have this little, first we're going to prepare the supplies I bought. So I have one of these little cheap uh, plastic pans we're going to use. I have a couple of round brushes. Now we're going to do sort of a watercolory thing. I know not that's not a big surprise, right? But because we're using not regular watercolor paints, because we're not. I don't want to use my nice watercolor brushes, so these are just two well-loved acrylic brushes. You can see they're <laughs> well-loved. I'm terrible with my brushes. All right, and I, um, so those, these are allowed, these are a bonus. You can use as many tools from your stash as you want. You're going to need to use paint brushes, and you're going to need to use like a palette or something probably. So these are like bonus. They don't even count. But the two things I chose to use for my stash of supplies were my favorite pen, which is the Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen, and then gum Arabic. I bought an eyeshadow palette. This is a Color Mates eyeshadow palette. I don't know how many colors are in there. This is from Dollar Tree. And then I chose a Wet n Wild black uh, brow and eyeliner pencil. A LA Colors all-in-one makeup stick. This is in pink satin. And two nail polishes, a turquoise one and a white one. So the first thing we're going to do is open everything. And take it out of the packaging. Okay, so then I want to take the eyeshadow, some of the eyeshadows, and I want to make them into watercolor paints. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to take the little 
shadow brush and set it aside, I'm going to get a pokey tool and I'm going to break up some of these eyeshadows into this little disposable pan. Um, I'm going to just stick this in here and, you know, crack some of the powder out carefully. Okay, let's see. Just pick some colors out of here that I like. I kind of know what I want to try to do with it. I think I know. Maybe I know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Let's see, we're going to take all of the sort of reddish, fleshy tones. And then we're going to take some of the blues. And I'm just poking, um, sticking the pokey tool into the eyeshadow and then just moving it around and breaking up the eyeshadow cake. I do want to get one of these dark grayish colors. There we go. And I think we'll go back to the blues. And I'm going to pick eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to pick the light blue. I have no idea how these are going to look on paper. Okay. So now we want to put a few drops of gum arabic into each one of the eyeshadows. That's going to be our binder to help us create paint out of the eyeshadows. So we're going to just put a few drops into each one. This bottle might be clogged. Yep. Let's see if we can unclog it. So you just want to put a few drops into each one and make it into sort of a paste. Um, I need... to mix it with. We're going to use, this is a coffee stirrer. Oops. So you might need to, you know, add more. There we go. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay. So you want to just make it really pasty. Grab that baby wipe. Wipe off my stick. And then also you want to not only make it pasty, but try to get the lumps out. You can do this with any pigment, um, not just, you know, eyeshadow or makeup. You know, if you have, I've done this with Twinkling H2Os in the past, and it works great. I've also done it with um, brushes. Oh, got a little bit too much in that one. That's all right. Can always put more eyeshadow in there if I need to.
Now if you're going to make ink from coffee or tea or food coloring, I do recommend that like you brew your cup of coffee or tea and then um, put it on the stove on a low simmer and let it reduce a bit and get thicker like you would a gravy and then um, transfer it to you know a plastic bottle and add a little bit of glycerin to it um, if you're if wanting to keep it around for a little while and you don't want it to uh, mold or evaporate. Gum Arabic can be found in your fine art supply aisle of any of your big box craft stores, including Michael's and Hobby Lobby. The most common brand that you'll find is the Windsor Newton. Okay. It looks like we've got our eyeshadow ready. So there we go. So I'm going to, whoops, there we go. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to just let those sit for a minute. This one looks like it needs more. You want them to be pasty but kind of creamy. You don't want them to be too dry. Oh, that's better. Okay, there we go. I'm going to get everything else situated. I'm going to get my journal out and we'll see what kind of art we can make with a little bit of makeup and a couple of art supplies. I'll be right back.
Okay, all I can say is, oh my goodness, what you can create with a little bit of makeup and some nail polish. <laughs> She's super cute. I really like her. I'm going to have to scan her for sure and put her into my computer because I can see putting turning her into a sticker or a dashboard in my planner or something at some point. She's super cute. So here's what you can do with a little bit of unconventional supplies and very little money. Create some really fun artwork in your journal. You don't have to spend a ton. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. I hope you decide to join the challenge. Now don't forget to go look at the links in the description below to all the other videos of the people who decided to do the challenge with me. And... You know, by all means, if you decide to do the challenge, and especially if you videoed it and put it on YouTube, let me know. Uh, use that. Use the hashtag that's in the title and the description, and uh, then it will pop up for me, and uh, you can also private message me on Facebook. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.